And sometimes it just takes, you know, one big sneeze. You don't even have to be old. <laughs> Confidence isn't something that comes easily to many of us women. And I personally didn't find my confidence until I turned 50. It has taken a long time. Three in 10 women feel uncomfortable about their appearance before they reach 16. But what age do we feel most confident? I'm sitting down with a couple of women to see what their own ages are and to discuss confidence. Linda, let's start with you. What's your age of confidence? Well, I think it was 50 as well. I'm, I'm 59 now. I don't think I have one yet, to be honest with you. Because I feel like I was quite confident when I was 20, more because I looked the, more the way that I wanted to rather than I had acceptance for myself. I'd say about 45. I think people struggle with confidence for so many different reasons. You know, we have knockbacks in life. There's some trauma that we may have gone through. There's unkind words that you can't unhear. Over the years, when I think back to the bullying at school and some of the negative comments and abusive relationships, I needed to dig deep and find my own sense of self-worth and just try and like push all that negativity away. It's because I had so many issues with um, putting on weight, you know, weight going off, uh, and just how I felt about myself mm -hmm. emotionally. You can be a bit insecure within yourself. What made you feel insecure? If you're not where you want to be in life, maybe. You think maybe it's me, maybe it's where I look. I remember someone said to me that a woman has hit her peak by 25 and after that it's all downhill. So have you, let, have you been losing sleep over this? <laughs> well, it's kind of been stressing me out because I'm like, I need to, I don't know, put my, do something. What gives me confidence is going out for dinner, having a really fun time, wearing something that I feel good in when I'm having a good hair day. My confidence is no longer impacted by these taboo subjects or issues and I really hope that all other women can come to this same realisation. Things that we're too afraid to talk about, menopause, yeah. incontinence. Like I didn't drink before I came here. Really? It's like, I don't want to go to the toilet in the middle of the interview. And you have to factor that anywhere you go, like is there going to be a toilet somewhere or yeah. is there, am I going to need to go to the loo in, in the middle of this meeting? We shouldn't be afraid to discuss these, these taboo subjects like incontinence. And for years we've just swept it under the carpet, we've dealt with it on our own and we don't need to do that anymore. No more struggling in silence. Let's share what's happening. So Deborah, what's your superpower? Maybe not caring. Love that. What steps did you take when you were raising Grace to try and prevent her from having any kind of negative body issues or confidence issues? So you give me a lot of com compliments that don't have to do with the way that I look, which I like. Yeah. I try to focus on the fact that it's about who we are. You know, are you kind? Are you reliable? Do you forgive easily? Are you somebody who as a good active listener. I don't think it matters what age we start to feel confident. The fact of the matter is we shouldn't be embarrassed, we shouldn't feel ashamed. We deserve to feel as good as we possibly can and speaking to these women today has been so inspiring. It's it's just it's been powerful. Mm -hmm.